Korean and Z fly commentator yeah. to later. But back to this match, we yeah. do have Esam versus Arma playing Palutena. Yeah, Esam, uh, of course, he's fresh off that second place finish at Nimbus. Uh, both a triumph and a tragedy for him, uh, I think we'll put it that way. Yeah, it was so unfortunate. He was playing so well, and he looked like he was going to take that set, set to game five, but then he self-destructed and Light was able to take it afterwards. But onto this match, though, Esam already racking up 82%, 87% on his Palutena player. Yeah, it looks like Arma just has not landed the entire game, and every time he seems to get a chance to try to throw in a rebuttal, Esam has oh, the counter. Oh, the Skull Bash recovery. But <laughs> <has> <laughs> Two frames of the Skull Bash and gets the forward smash immediately afterwards. Yeah. Esam's, uh, he understands something about the game that we all don't. And it's no surprise there. He's been playing this series since the Brawl days, I believe. And he's been sticking. Even the Melee days, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah. And does he play Pikachu in Melee, too? Uh, he plays Samus in Melee, actually. That's yeah. where, you know, if we look at the etymology of the name, Esam, Eric Samus. Oh, Actually. yeah, that makes sense. Right. And yes. Yeah, they did like a Nintendo spot with Esam on it. You know, uh, what's your favorite character? Everyone expected the Pikachu, and of course it's, uh, it's like, oh, yeah, Samus is a character that I really vibe with. <laughs> it's in my name. Yeah, that's a, that's a surprise. But yeah, Esam being such a veteran, such, having so many years of experience at the game, it knows, it's no surprise he's one of the top players for Smash Ultimate. And Arma trying to get something going right now, has Esam off stage, but... Oh, he actually picks up the quick attack Ooh. and a very good up smash read, and he's right in there. He's down by quite a bit of percent, but he's able to tie up the stocks. Yeah, if he can land like a few nairs, get that nair playing going, he could get this, try and make this comeback. However, Esam has him trapped at the ledge. Great recovery from Arma. And there's kind of no rest for the wicked, not letting Arma breathe, and all the pressure in the world. Has a small opportunity, gets an up smash, but not safe on hit. Whoa. He had drag down fair into drag down there into the dash attack. Right, all that off of an up smash that he connected with him. It just didn't look like it was safe on him. Yeah, and Esam just immediately responded out the gate. Are we going to see some lightning loops? Oh, we have a chain grab instead. I, I've i seen Esam do the mix up often. Sometimes he'll go for that up tilt, other times he'll go for that down throw if he can convert. Yeah, he tries to convert it upwards. You know, you start seeing like 50, 60 damage come out, and then he finishes it off with an up air screen. All right, landing that fair, sending Arma in a very bad spot. Another recovery upstate on stage, but Esam hasn't punished him yet. And you can just tell Esam's kind of being the bully, the aggressor in this <laughs> match. Just Arma just does not look comfortable in the neutral. Esam getting away with all the shenanigans, goes underneath the stage, Ooh. converts a neutral air into an up smash, and takes the game. Yeah, looking like Fox and Arma. He, he was he was playing pretty well at the beginning, but. Esam just slowly steamrolling him. Yeah, he's relentless. Uh, relentless is the word, right? He's yeah, just relentless. Just can. giving him <laughs> no room to breathe. Yeah, no quarter. And that's kind of the, the beauty of Esam. You take Pikachu, a character that is, um, you know, people view the game in terms of risk, and they view the game in terms of reward. And you have characters that are more risk averse, and you have characters that are more heavy hitters. And Pikachu is always known for being that risk averse character, can always reset neutral whenever he wants to. Esam takes this character, flips it on his head, and plays the most aggressive <laughs> in-your-face Pikachu that you'll ever see, while also, you know, retaining the right to go back to that really camping and risk-averse gameplay. But, you know, he yeah. makes you earn it and goes after you with aggression at the beginning, for sure. And another great thing about Esam is that he's so innovative with his combos. Like, we just saw he had landed back air into up air, up air, back air for a solid 31%. And... And right now it's just picking up right where he left off from game one. Uh, actually, a little bit of a oh, better start for Arma. Oh, not oh. quite enough to kill. Town and City <laughs> with those high blast zones. If it were any other stage, I think Esam would have died incredibly early. And it's those clutch plays that you need in order to take games or even sets against these top players. Yeah, it's nice to see Arma come out with an aggressive option. Even I think Esam had kind of been so used to Arma just kind of letting him roll over him and picking off. Oh my god, that's a bad situation on a platform. But yeah, nice for Armor to pick some aggressive options. Kind of maybe that'll play towards opening up the game for him. Yeah, but I, at the same time, I feel like Esam is sort of adapting to that playstyle already. Like after landing that fair, I saw earlier he was just keeping his distance and just throwing out that Thunder Jolt instead. But we have the drag down. Is that it? No. I, yeah, I think he took his jump and such a quick stock. Unbelievable plays from Esam right now. Oh, watch out for the platform. Don't get stretchered. 
Yeah, Arma just uh, red alert, not sure exactly what he doesn't have any answer to. He looked like, you know, so promising to open up this game. And now Isam just hasn't downloaded any option. Spot dodge just doesn't matter. He's putting it down there right where you're going to be. He's just throwing out moves at this point. He's just mashing these attack buttons and he's just getting away with it. Arma just can't do anything about it. And unfortunately, that whiff back air will be the end of the set. And Isam, he's a very, he's a very kind player and that he'll always give